gonna go into the Arkansas Peddlers Antique Mall. Spoiler alert, this is gonna be a fun time. Let's go in. Some owies. <gasps> Look, he's holding your glasses. That's 40. Just give me the, oops, I had to put my card down. My basket is sliding. The contents are sliding. A skinny little bloodhound. And then the resin bookends. Or no, they're not resin. Ceramic. <laughs> Googly eyes. They're $45. The globe is neat. I like the globe. That's 80. And salt and pepper shakers. Hi there. I hope you have been enjoying this series of videos from this one antique mall. That, I was wondering what it was. It's a motorboat engine. This is part three of four videos I made at this location. This was a very large antique mall, and I didn't realize I was going to get four videos out of it. And so I hope you are enjoying our walk around this antique mall. The music was super loud in this area of the store. So that is why I am doing a voiceover. We are kind of in the Mantiques area. They had a, this booth had a lot of hunting and uh, fishing paraphernalia. And this reminded me of those ugly face jugs. It was a little hillbilly. I think they had hillbilly mountain man or something on the tag. Very cute, but. I don't, it was just a little figurine. It didn't hold anything. And I've sold those, uh, those treasure craft canisters before. And let's see over here. They had a lot of hunting things. There's the duck decoys. They also had a lot of taxidermy. I did not film the taxidermy because I know some people do not like that. These were all salmon or fish shakers. And then I found all of their stretch glass faces. They had them all kind of centered here in the middle of the store on the display. And now I'm telling you that we're going to walk down this way. And I came across the jewelry. This was a cute little uh, jewelry box that was hinged and the inside was very very nice uh, pretty purple color it did have uh, I think at one time it was a locking me mechanism uh, but it still was very nice and then they had playing cards I do like to pick up vintage playing cards those were $5.99 and then of course they had all these little brooches and bracelets and jewelry mixed in this was a really interesting compact well first I was looking at these pins I was pretty excited to find some jewelry. Uh, I think that was $10. They had this red heart compact for $19.99. And then I had a little trouble opening it. There it was. It had the little pad and the mirror. And I think the powder was in there as well. I spied this sign that said lipsticks. At first I was thinking, is this vintage? But then when I went in to use the restroom, they had some other signs that were cut out metal. So I think that might have been more contemporary. Could be completely wrong. That was just my thought process. I did sell that little compact box on Whatnot. Jimmy and I did a sale together while we were in Arkansas. This pin, the enamel pin, I do like picking up those flower pins, especially if they have a V attachment on the back. Uh, that one kind of had a too high of a uh, buy-in price for me, but for a collector, I think it was a good price. I really like how they had it displayed. They had this hair dryer, and then they put this bucket full of bangles underneath the dryer that was super cute there were some bangles here I think they were more contemporary they kind of had that feel to me that these weren't vintage 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 I did like the looks of them because they had all those rhinestones on them and an advantage of them not being so old is that all the rhinestones were there I, I picked up that clear one and I think a pink one and we sold those on our whatnot sale as well they were priced reasonably, um, but I was looking more for the old ones, even though look at all those sparkles. <laughs> it's, it's hard not to want the whole bucket of bangles. I mean, what, what would be better, a bucket, a bucket of bangles at the right price? Ooh, look at that green one. Did I get the green one? I think I got the clear one. Well, we're going to see what I pick. I'm trying to remember. So It was a week ago. It was so long ago. <laughs> I have been slowly making my way through the almost 400 bangles that I bought at auction. I might have maybe a hundred left, I think. I've been selling those on my whatnot shows. This one was really neat, but it had some rhinestones missing. That one might have had some age to it. So I decided, well, I'm going to at least get two of them here uh, after I really, really, really <laughs> took my time looking through them. Maybe I got 
The red one? Let's see back here. What's back here? What's this? Great orange cuff. Did they say great orange cuff? Yep, great orange cuff. The lipstick holder is super cool. Looks like they have a... Is that a lamp or is that... Oh, that's a display. That's a display. It's probably not for sale. This is neato. The summer garden bouquet. Ooh, I like that. Oh, who's that by? Let's see. House of... Mm, I take my glasses off. Hold on. House of... The Summer Garden Bouquet, House of Igor, Igor Carl Fabergé. That's neat. I like that. With metal flowers. And it's half, it was 50 and now it's 15. I like that. Now let's see up here. Look at the cologne bottles. The crown, here's an egg. That's 20. Here's another lipstick holder, 29, and that's 20, the little one. It's another compact. Oh, it's just a mirror. I don't see a price on that one. That's pretty. It's a, is that a lamp? It looks like it's a lamp. There's a plug right there. There's another lamp here. Pair earrings clip on, $20 for those. Have a stretchy bracelet and clip on earrings. A uh, jewelry box that's pretty. Completely <laughs> went right over that when I was looking at the at the um, cuff. Here is an old brooch that's ten dollars. That's old because it has that V shape there. I have learned that. And this one is ten dollars as well. It's so pretty. Another lipstick container. A lot of lipstick holders. Very, very cool. Another basket of bangles. We were just over there, and now we're here. I think these are newer, but they're fun. Like they're so sparkly. This is a neat one. Let's see. There's this looks like a square one. Square sparkly one. That's for a tiny wrist. I'm back because the music was a little bit too loud. If you hear snoring, it's it's Barney. He's laying part in my lap and it's a rainy day and it's a perfect day for sleeping in. Oh, and I hear an ambulance. Um, I remembered I got this green bracelet as well. And this sold on whatnot. <laughs> it's like I, I don't want to hear what you sold I feel I apologize if there's some things that you wish that you had bought but we uh, decided to do the sale in Arkansas do something different and um, I had to sell the things that I, I bought on our trip because I, I only brought um, bangles from home to sell uh, it was a lot of fun doing a, a show not in your own house and something different and we all, I think everyone who watched had a lot of fun as well. So that bracelet I bought, oh, I did get the red one. I just saw it in my, my bag. And here we are moving on to the cases. They had some red uh, moon and stars. The reflection's a little bit bright, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, some moon and stars glass there. They had a whole wall of cases. They had a whole bunch of uh, Bluebird of Happiness birds, which I love finding. Um, the price was good for a collector, but not for me. They had some pie birds. They even had the red birds. The red birds are a little bit uh, harder to find, I would guess. Um, so here I am look, taking all taking all in the birds, taking in all the birds, yes. Uh, seeing if there's anything there that I need. The lady had visas. Is that Marilyn Monroe? Look at all them. They're super cool. And the Whiting and Davis mesh purse. In the back there, look at the um, display for the earrings. Oh, yeah. That's cool. And then over here, over here, over here, we have some Mosser turkeys. There's a Cupie. How much is a Cupie? Oh, there's Oh, wait. Hold on. Southern Pacific Lines. Where's Southern Pacific? Right here. Oh, well, my dad has that mug. Oh, really? That's 24. 
Huh. Oh, and there's another lady who has ace. And then that little guy's a, this, this, this guy right here has a magnet. Okay, I want to see these little monster trees. And birds. Hmm. And that blue cupie is Boyd's glass. But the little milk trees, I believe, are, mo are monster. And so are the birds. We got um, the monster bird and the Boyd's birds. I don't know if they glow or not. And I got a purple bird and a pink bird and then this little blue cutie. This, um, these are Boyd's glass. Um, this is marked, I just saw it, with an M. That's Mosser. Yeah, that's what our cards look at. Our basket. I keep calling it a card. It's a basket. And then over here we have jewelry in this case here. Some perfume bottles in there started to exclaim over the Kokeshis and then I kept looking up and kept looking up and kept looking up. So let's start at the top. Look at all the salt and peppers. Look at all of them. Here, we're going to look together at the same time. Look at the poodles and the pumpkin heads. Oh my gosh. 24 for those. Oh my gosh, we just have to take it in. And then we have uh, these two here. All right, but hold on. We have to, let's see. Look, cats in the back. Oh, look at the giant cucumbers, look. Oh, those are huge. Those are so big. And then there's monkeys. Monkeys right there in a tree. Okay, on the second shelf, more figurines, but also some shakers. Get the elves those are 18 the pixie salt and peppers the jadeite trees back there those are 35 look at the big one look at that big one right there yeah the just the fiddler jesters are there oh look at these guys i like them Oh, look at the cats. They're holding salt and pepper shakers. They're on their backs. I almost didn't see those. And then down here we have a fox salt and pepper. A bunny rabbit. Arizona salt and pepper shaker. Treasure craft. Oh, look at the little penguins. Are those glass? Wait, are those little glass penguins? I need to get those too. There's some nodder. Here, let me scooch in here. Some nodder salt and pepper shakers back there. Oh, look at the dogs. Oh, those are so cool. Okay, and then down here, we have the, I think that's Miss Pris, I think. I believe that's called Miss Pris. Those, and then down here, oh, well, Jimmy found some uh, Max, are those Max brand? Hey, some or are, some Cowboy? Are, some of them. What'd you get? This one here looks interesting. And then, oh, that's Max Brand. Yeah. Max Brand. And you have that one, Dusty, right? There. I know, but you can't. You don't know where it is. Well, <laughs> you can never have too many. Yes, you can never have too many. And look at all the Kokeshis. And we are in another part of the store. At first, I thought this was Daniel Boone, but I believe this is Davy Crockett. Davy, Davy Crockett. <laughs> Man of the Wild Frontier, a uh, super cool mug. It was $40, so I carefully put it back on my shelf. That is a super cool, super cool mug. And now we're going to look at some Christmas. All right, I, I had to break up the video, so we kind of stopped looking at one thing, and I wasn't leaving you in the middle of this Christmas display. So uh, I this is the last part of this video. We're going to end on Christmas, and then I have one more part um, coming up on another day. So I hope you stay tuned for that one. It is a, a second part of this store. They kind of have two stores in one and the last video will be that other store that is under the same name as um, Arkansas Peddlers Antique Mall. Uh, I was pointing out that Sandy My Flippin' Van Life had given me one of those little plastic gnomes and then they had lots of uh, elves on the shelf and it just kept going and going and going. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see ya.